To start off, I haven't been completely honest with you. There actually isn't a sea urchin which lived forever, but perhaps there could be. So this past fall, I spent some time in Bermuda, at the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences, with Dr. Audrey Bodner. There, we used the sea urchin as a model system to understand human health and aging. Now, you may not think about the sea urchin as a model system to understand human health or aging. Perhaps you think about it as an animal with lots of spines on its head, or when you're walking around, you step on, on the reef and it really hurts your feet. You know, maybe that's what you think about when you think about sea urchins. But it turns out, sea urchins have some incredible powers of regeneration, and they also can live for quite a long time. In fact, one species, Strongulus centrotus franciscanus, has been shown to live up to 200 years old, and to get to be very, very large. Now, how many of you in the audience know someone who's lived up to 200 years old? Any humans? Probably not, but the interesting thing is that sea urchins and humans share about 70% of the same proteins. So that it's these similar molecular tools there available, but somehow sea urchins are using them differently. <clears throat> so we want to go back to this question of regeneration. And I like to start with this quote by Richard Goss. He once said that if everything regenerated, there could be no death. If nothing regenerated, there could be no life, but that everything existed between these two extremes. So while you're wrapping your head around that quote, it just sounds nice, but I want you instead <laughs> to take a look at your arm. Take a look at your arm. If you got a cut on your arm, the skin would regrow. It would regenerate. You wouldn't just start growing a new arm. Regeneration is a very controlled process. In fact, you know, if, if I had spontaneously lost my arm, it wouldn't regrow. I'm not a superhuman, unfortunately. But there are some superhumans in the ocean. They're known as sea stars. Um, if they lose an arm, they can regenerate it. Turns out, they're actually related to sea urchins. Let's take another relative of the sea urchin, the sea cucumber. If a sea cucumber is attacked, it gets scared, it'll eviscerate, it'll throw up its stomach contents and then run off as fast as a sea cucumber can run. It can't run very fast. Um, but it's able then to regrow its entire stomach contents. That's not an easy task to do. So what about sea urchins and regeneration? It's not as clear. What's, what's the interesting regeneration thing they're doing? Well, I told you earlier that they can live for a long time. If we think about the aging process as a sort of functional decline over time, as we get older, we get kind of sore, we get, I don't know, it's harder to wake up in the morning, things aren't working out as well. But what if you were a sea urchin and you could replace those lost or damaged tissues? It turns out perhaps they're doing that, and we have evidence that suggests that sea urchins indeed are replacing older damaged tissues. So not only do they have this incredible capacity for regeneration, but as we move forward, sea urchins may be a valuable model for understanding human health and aging. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is ocean science for human good.